Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to build mail merge automation to send mass emails automatically when certain criteria are met. In this spreadsheet, you can see I have two sheets named email marketing and birthday wishes. I will use these to demonstrate how you can build and test email automation. At the top, you can see a custom menu named Mail Merge Automation. Click it and then select Automation Scheduler. Here, I can type in any name for the automation. I can choose an email draft for this automation from the drop down menu. Let's choose a draft to send birthday wishes. Let me show you this draft in my Gmail account. This is the draft I prepared to send birthday wishes. The name within double curly braces will be replaced with the name in the spreadsheet. While preparing the draft, please ensure that the marker matches exactly with the header field in the spreadsheet. For example, name within double curly braces matches exactly with name here in cell B2. Here, we can select the target spreadsheet and then choose the column that contains email IDs. Then choose a column that contains the criteria to send emails. You can have any formula that evaluates to either true or false based on your requirements. In this case, I have written a simple formula to check whether today is the person's birthday. Moving on to the next field, choose a status column that will hold email send dates. Pick the automation start date. You can also select a date range if you wish to run the automation for a limited duration. Then, finally, select the weekdays on which you want to run this automation. For example, if you want to run the automation only on Mondays, this selection dictates when to run the automation. The actual email will be sent based on your criteria column. Then finally, hit the Create button to create this automation. Now let's test this automation. Again, go to the custom menu and then hit Test Automation. Here you can see the status column has been updated with the sent date. Let's check the sent email as well. And here you can see it has properly sent the email. Now let me show you another sample to send a product promotional message. This is the draft that we will be using for this purpose. I will once again open the Automation Builder. Let me quickly fill out this form. Now test the automation. And here you go. It's working fine. Let me show you the sent email. Now, to make it yours, make a copy of this spreadsheet from the link given in the description below. Then click on the custom menu and try to open the form. For the first time, it will ask you to authorize the code. Go ahead and grant all the necessary permissions. Once authorization is complete, click again.
Now build your automation and test it. Let's do a quick code overview. Open the script editor by going to Extensions and then App Script. At the top, you will see a file named Automation Scheduler. This file is responsible for building a form inside a modal dialog. This form contains several fields, including multiple select fields for dropdowns. We populate these drop-down fields from spreadsheet data. We use the method getDataForAutomationForm to accomplish this. This function is defined in this file and fetches all the column fields in all the sheets, as well as all the saved Gmail drafts. Once the form is submitted, it calls the onSubmit method. To call the server-side script defined in the automationbuilder.gs file, we use the client-side API google.script.run. This calls the function named createReminderTrigger. This is where the function is defined. It creates a new automation trigger and saves the form inside the property service. The fetch automation blocks function retrieves the form saved in the property service and then populates the form with the existing automation trigger. If no trigger exists, it will show you a blank form. Now coming to the Automation Builder file. This function creates a new trigger for the function named Send Reminder Email. It will run that function every day at 9 a.m. This function first fetches the form saved inside the property service. Then it grabs the target sheet, email column, subject line, status column, checked weekdays, and date range. Based on the selected date range and weekdays, it decides whether to proceed or return. It then fetches the selected Gmail draft. In this block, we read the spreadsheet data. For each row of data, it checks if the send criteria are fulfilled. If true, it performs a mail merge by replacing the markers within double curly braces with the row data. Finally, it sends an email to the recipients and updates the status column. In the code.gs file, this block creates a custom menu and adds menu items underneath it. This block is responsible for creating a dialog using the automationscheduler.html form. That's it. If you liked the video, then please subscribe to my channel. Feel free to learn and experiment by making copy of this spreadsheet from the link given in the description below. I have also included the links and references for the Element UI framework that I used to build the form in the project. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.